Since 1979, Chinese food has been adopted by many countries across the world, and for some people it has become a part of their everyday life. Just briefly looking into the history of something as simple as food really just shows how advanced and creative the Asian culture was and still is. According to historical records, over 5,000 years ago, China already had grill, grilled fish, and other foods. During the Zhao Dynasty in China, food was mainly grains such as beans, millet, barley, brown rice, and although they weren't the same as the food that we have today cultivated in modern agriculture industry, it was in late Zhao dynasty that people started to have white rice, peeled rice, and that was very rare and highly expensive food for a rich class. Similar to any other nation, salt was a crucial element in cooking and people's daily life. But then, salt was commonly used already. In the Zhao dynasty, there was a famous cuisine called Ba Zheng, which actually translates to eight treasures, which was a very influ influential dish for the future generations. There are multiple dynasties which all had their own influence into Chinese food that we know today, such as the Zhao dynasty, the Qin dynasty, and the Han dynasty, and several different uh, other dynasties. Not long after the expansion of the Chinese Empire during the Qin Dynasty, Han Dynasty writers noted the great differences in culinary practices among different parts of their realm. These differences followed to a great extent the varying climates and availabilities of foodstuffs in China. Many writers tried their hands at classification, but since internal political boundaries over the centuries did not concise, son, coincide with shifting cultural identities, there was no way to establish clear-cut or enduring classifications or ranking of foods and cooking styles.